All right, I'm going to a movie at the Ragtag Cinema. And this movie is a movie I was looking forward to a lot. It's called Problemista. And I saw the trailer a whole bunch of times, and then the movie kept getting put off and put off. I was seeing trailers for this movie like in the middle of 2023. So uh, I've been looking forward to it for a long time. So when I get back out to the car, let you know I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I am the Joshua Lukaku, and these are mine. Problemista. Yeah, so this uh, movie, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of funny and it's weird. It's one of them. The new newer movies, I believe, it is a twenty four. It uh, and it has is Tilda Swinton, and she plays a crazy lady. But <laughs> anyway, so this movie is pretty interesting. It's about if you've seen the trailer, it's about the boy. Uh, and to stay in the country, he's like a dreamer or something. You know, he's a kid that was brought over as a kid or something. Or he's a guy that was brought over as a kid, so he doesn't have any citizenship paperwork. But he's kind of lived there his whole life sort of thing. At least that's what I was getting from it. And, uh, so, <laughs> he, uh, so basically he has to get someone to sponsor him, is the thing. But, uh, until he's sponsored... He can't take any, uh, he can't get paid unless it's sort of under the table sort of thing. So, you know, he finds this crazy lady, basically. There's stuff that isn't in the trailer, but it's like, through mishaps and whatnots, their, their lives kind of become a little intertwined. And so she's like, oh, maybe I'll sponsor you if you, like, help me put on this art show. I know from the trailer that I can't tell you what this art show, why they have to do this art show, but <laughs> cause that's all, it's a, it's a whole thing. But <laughs> so basically he's this timid little guy that doesn't, not, is not good at standing up for himself, which makes the whole pro the whole thing, you know, even harder cause he's not very assertive and stuff. Meanwhile, on the other hand, this lady, she's, like, really overbearing and, like, basically insane. <laughs> so, you know, and all the funny scenes, you know, that are in the trailer and the movie. And that sort of thing. It's like... <laughs> so, I'm not sure what's what's going on with this, this guy entirely, but he kind of... He walks, he walks sort of like a cartoon character. That's the only thing I could say about it, really. And so the movie is kind of, you know, even... So there's, like, fantastical elements to this, because there's a lot of stuff that's just kind of going on in his head. And it's like a dramatization that's in his head sort of thing. But then even when in, in the real world, it's still kind of goofy just in the real world. It's like he walks like a cartoon character and... <laughs> And, you know, just the subject matter of everything that's going on. The movie kind of reminds me more of that, that movie called Sorry to Bother You, which was an amazing movie, where in the trailer, you didn't quite get that the movie was so fantastical, but then, like, the actual movie is, like, a lot more over the top than you would assume, <laughs> you know, so... But anyway, in this in this world, and you get this from the trailer, is like basically if you don't get your paperwork in order, it, it's kind of like the idea is that you just kind of disappear, like you vanish, you cease to exist, you leave the earth. It's so it's so weird. But uh, yeah, the side characters in this movie I thought were really weird and interesting. He's got this this whole thing going on with uh with his roommates. You know, it's like, 
there's this whole thing, you know, with different art gallery people, that sort of thing. There's just, uh, yeah, the movie does a lot of weird stuff with color and just, <laughs> it's like weird, weird costumes that symbolize things and it's just, <laughs> it's just a real wacky sort of movie. I found it to be, uh, entertaining, you know, it's pretty good. I thought the acting was good. Even if at times it was a bit over the top, but it's supposed to be. Some characters are supposed to be real over the top, and then other characters are supposed to be real, you know, timid and, you know, unsure of themselves sort of thing. But then other aspects of their performance is over the top, too. It's just like over the top, <laughs> just being a weird, goofy guy <laughs> sort of thing. But... And there's this whole thing about, you know, about the boy, his mom, she's an artist also, sort of thing. Um, this movie, I mean, this movie's not going to be for everyone. I thought it was entertaining, but it's real, it's real wacky. So, I can understand this, uh, it's not for everybody, sort of thing. But this might, this movie might end up, you know, getting a cult following because I think it's good enough and it's weird enough. So, yeah. Problemista. It exists. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Problemista. Yeah. I'm throwing them up on the thoughts and opinions pile. They'll soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. You know. Go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions. Don't, uh, leave them in, uh, file creator. <laughs> whatever that was yeah so like subscribe ring notification bell all that good stuff don't forget to feed your cat and uh don't forget to eat your walnuts